If you guys are in the market to start your own YouTube channel and you don't really have the funds to buy an expensive high-end 4K video camera or even a laptop to be able to edit it, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, this may be the solution for you. Iographer has this case, and you can also buy these lenses. The case is around 60 and the lenses I think are 40 a piece, but you can also edit then on your iPhone or your iPad. You can also use it as fancy as you want, like here I've got it attached to my slider so you can get some really awesome shots if you have something like that. Or you can just use it as a basic setup, which I'll show you all that in just a moment. Look again at the front here, you see Life Action Camera, the first all-purpose filmmaking case for the iPhone 6S Plus. Or actually it says 6 Plus, but I have the 6S Plus, and they're the same. So we get it outside here, and there's also a couple other papers in here. We have an Adobe Premiere clip for the iPhone or iPad. You get a free 30-day trial, as well as your installation guide, so you know the correct way to stick your phone inside, which I'll show you that as well. So you can see here they've got these handles on the side, and on the bottom there is a standard tripod attachment, and on the top there's two different cold shoe mounts where you can attach things, and then you have your slot where your iPhone goes in. So to insert your phone, you want to put the power side, power button side in first, at least if you have the iPhone 6S Plus, that's going to be on the side. And then it just snaps down, and you can see the camera lines up. So you want to make sure you get your camera lined up and that side of the case in first. Then here we have the wide angle lens, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox that and show you what is inside with these. Again, all these pieces do come separate, but I'll have everything linked down below. So first off, you'll see that it does come in a little bag, so you can protect it if you're going to carry a few of these with you. And then inside of there, we just got a piece of plastic, and then here is our lens itself. Now this one is marked macro, but it's also a wide-angle lens. You just have to screw the two pieces apart to get break it down one more step to get to the macro lens. And on the top, there is a rubber cap, and then on the bottom, there is a screw-on cap as well. And I'm going to install this and I'm going to put the lens cap on first so that I do not get any fingerprints on there and then just line it up and screw it in. Now I will let you know right off the bat, I have a hard time getting this screwed in every time. It takes just a little bit of effort, so be careful so you don't strip it. And I'm hoping maybe we'll see an update in a future model and they'll make maybe larger threads or something so that it's just a little bit easier, maybe a guide, so that whenever you get it connected you know you have it in the right spot and it just goes on with a little more ease. And also, once I get this all the way twisted down, I'm going to give it just a couple more twists to make sure the macro and the wide angle lens do not have any separation with them and those are sealed down tight as well. Okay, now here is your grip part. So you can hold this in your hand. Say you're a reporter or wanting to record your son's baseball game, you can use it just with your hands. Or for added stability, you can also use the standard quarter inch thread on the bottom to attach it to any tripod that you may have. Here you can see I'm attaching it to the Joby Gorilla Pod. I think this one's the SLR Zoom. It's about $35 and it gives you a whole lot of ways you can use it. Now if you want to step up your audio, this is the Rode Video Micro. And I've got a whole video on this so I'm not going to go over every single detail on it. But it's about $60 and it comes with this furry windshield which reduces all the wind noises. And it has a mount that's meant for the top of your camera. But this case has those mounts just right there. They're called cold shoe mounts. So you can just slide it in and it has a little knob here. You just twist it down. And everything that you will need for that is included for DSLR, but if you're going to use this with an iPhone, you will need an extra cable, which I will try to make sure I link that down as well. But it will take an extra cable to be able to work with the iPhone properly, so you'll have to add that on, and I think it's about $10 or $12 for that cable. But it has some really good audio for under whatever it's going to be with the cable, $70 or something around that. But if you want to save, go ahead and get the mic now and just add your lens on later after you've been using just the lens with your phone and you want some expandability, then add it on. So I'm going to be quiet just for a moment and I'll add some annotations on the screen so you guys can just watch. Okay, so just to test it out, um, here is the 37mm 2x telephoto lens. Now I am using the Rode mic 
and recording from the iPhone 6s plus and I have the macro and wide angle lens on but I'm using the wide angle one so here is the box and a little banged up But if you were using this in a real life situation, this is kind of the result you can expect. So here we have it. You can see the glass there. And this is the end you screw on. Okay, so now I just want you to check out the frame. You can see my mouse here, and this is using the iPhone lens. You can see the bottom of the desk. You can see all the way at the top of my PC and the top of my monitor, but I'm gonna go ahead and screw on the telephoto lens, and here's how much zoomed in it is. You can kinda just check out everything that you could see before, the bottom of the desk, the top of the PC, my mouse, all that's gone, and that is with the two times telephoto zoom. So say you guys are gonna do something like an incredibly long shoot, or you're just running low on juice, or doing a time lapse even, and you wanna power your phone. I have this little portable backup battery, and I'll have a link for it also down below. Everything will be down below, but it just snaps right in here. Now, it's not 100% stable, so it's, you can't turn this thing upside down, and you may wanna get the cable out of your way so you don't accidentally get tangled up in it. But for the most part, if you're carrying this around, or if you're using it on a tripod, this thing is not gonna go anywhere. So it's an awesome companion for that, and it's really cheap and affordable as well. Also, you can see there is a tripod mount on this side. Most people don't want to shoot that way, even though sometimes it may be necessary for some reason, but it's there if you need it. So, all in all, I really like this thing. There's a few things I don't like. To get this out of the case, it's a little bit difficult. You press this button and I have to fiddle with it and try to figure out where to put leverage on it to get it to come out. And maybe over time, if I use this thing 100 times, it'll get easier, but for now, it's just a little bit difficult for me to take it in and out. So that's one thing I'd like to see improvements on. And then the other thing is, the inside of this case is not have any kind of padding or rubber coating or anything, and I'm afraid that maybe it's gonna scratch my phone. But again, this isn't to say that don't buy this, these are terrible products. These are just things that I'd like to see improved in the next model, along with that lens being just a little easier to get turned in and screwed on, because I do have a little hard time getting that in as well. And so all these things just slow down your process if you're in a hurry, but they don't kill it. So if you guys are in the market for something like this to start your YouTube channel, or even just take your iPhoneography to the next level or videography, this is an awesome kit to get you started. And again, I'll try to make sure I have links for everything down below. If there's anything I miss out, just drop me a comment, let me know. If you guys have one of these, let me know what you think about it. If you're interested in getting one, let me know that as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.